Hey, what's going on, Aries? I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me. I wanted to do a reading for the full moon in Cancer that's tonight. I did an all sign reading the other day. Be sure to check that out. But I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with each sign. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Welcome to my channel. So let's get started. So Aries, this full moon is in Cancer. The moon is at home in Cancer. Cancer deals with home, family. It specifically deals with feminine energy, specifically your mother or the mother figures in your life. It deals with how you show and express emotion, how you nurture. It's fourth house energy. It's also about um, your security, home and security. It could be the physical home or what makes you feel at home naturally. So with the moon being full here in Cancer, there could be some emotions that you need to release and get rid of as it relates to your family, as it relates to your home, the people that you live with inside of your home. Um, some of you, you could have issues dealing with the women in your life, your mother, you know, the, the, the female members of your family, some deeply rooted issues could come up. It also deals with our ancestors. You know, some of you may feel the need to get closer to your ancestors and learn more about your family histories in regards to that. You could be very emotional during this time when it comes to one or more of those areas. So keep that in mind. And with you being an Aries, you may come off a little more aggressive than usual. OK, so especially if you are an Aries rising, I always recommend that you watch these from your rising sign. OK, so let's see what is going on with you as far as the tarot Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Bottom of the deck. We have the Empress in reverse. So some of you, a Taurus could be significant. Being that this is in reverse, some of you are just not happy when it comes to your current love relationship, the current status of your relationship. Maybe you don't have a relationship. If this isn't love related, some of you are not really happy when it comes to your material wealth, what you've accumulated thus far, the type of money that you make. There could be some type of domestic issues as well. The Empress in reverse could indicate that you're having issues with a, a woman. You know, maybe if you're in a relationship, I feel like some of you, you feel that there's a woman or a third party trying to interfere in your relationship somehow. So let's see what's going on with you. Current energy. A Sagittarius or a Leo could be significant. Something that happened in Sagittarius season, which was a couple of weeks ago. Well, the other day, uh, Cap we're in Capricorn season. Capricorn started the 22nd. So this is something that could have happened recently. You walked away from someone here because you felt like you had to be fake. You felt like you couldn't really ask for what you wanted with this person. Some of you felt like in order to, to get along with this person, you had to go without. You couldn't really ask for what you wanted. You had to keep the peace. And a lot of you had to keep the peace with this person by dimming your light, not really being who you are, not really asking for what it is that you want, not really allowing this person not to treat you like you should, basically. And I feel like you're getting out of that energy currently. 
you're deciding to walk away. Some of you, um, this person has ignored you. You know, it could be a history of this person being in and out, ignoring you, making you feel like you're always competing with other people. So that Empress in reverse, the bottom of the deck, some of you felt like this person was entertaining other people. And subconsciously, maybe you felt like you had to entertain this person and not really let them know how you feel. And if you did tell them how you felt, maybe this person accused you of being insecure, gaslighting you basically. Some of you are wanting the truth from this person, but you feel like if you push and push and keep asking that this person will basically lash out at you and leave you and walk away from you. And some of you are getting to the point where you just don't care. If you wanna leave, leave. If it's my fault, fine, it's my fault. That's how a lot of you feel currently. I feel like if you do that, this person may come back around talking about they're ready for a commitment or they've been thinking about having a commitment with you. More Leo energy here. Yeah, they'll make you feel very optimistic. But with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it'll go back to the way that it was. It's like this person knows how to push your buttons. They know what to say to you to get the result they want out of you. They know what to say and do for you to act a certain way. For some of you, this is a uh, job situation. Some of you, um, especially if you have your own business, some of you are at a crossroads where you feel like I can't really be who I am. Some of you have to like, I'm picking up on someone who you may have like a personal Instagram page where you can post what you wanna post and be who you wanna be. Some of you feel bound by this business or this persona that you have created and you're getting to the point where you could feel like a fraud. Maybe that's not a good word, but you just feel, you don't like the fact that you can't be who you are and incorporate who you are into your brand or into your business. Sagittarius season could have been very significant for you, Aries, where you have come to like some tough realizations about your business, your money, or your the person that you're seeing. How does this person feel? They feel four of wands. You give them a source, you give them a sense of stability and maybe that's why they don't want to let you go. You could be very um, successful or you could just have a very stable life. You could get up and go to work in the morning. Your business could generate income that allows you to be very stable um, and have a lot of comforts that maybe this person doesn't have or and or maybe the other women or the other man that this person entertains, they don't have what you have. And they like that about you. They could also see um, some of you are moving or thinking about moving to a new home or to a new location. I would say um, like a long distance move if I saw the chariot, but I don't see that. Some of you are definitely thinking about moving and this full moon in Cancer could at minimum make you want to change your scenery somehow you know maybe you want to move maybe you want to redecorate or rearrange your furniture this person looks at you as security they look at you as like a sure thing like oh aries ain't going nowhere especially if you have history with this person aries ain't going nowhere I know what to say to get her or him back. They ain't going anywhere. That's how they could like really view you. What emotions do they have for you? Some of you could feel like all these cars just fell on the floor. Some of you feel like your place of employment looks at you like that and they're like taking you for granted.
you feel like this person or this company, like they don't respect you, um, you don't have a, you feel like you've lost a sense of your self-respect in a regards. Um, excuse me, I don't know if it could be this person or this relationship, it could be this job. What's coming towards you? What's coming towards you, Aries, is a tower moment. An unexpected, an unexpected shocking change or event. Some of you are going to be put in a situation where you've learned the lesson. Now, let me see you put it into action. Some of you may pass. Some of you may fail. Some of you keep saying that you want to be set free from this person, this job or this situation that you've been put in in the universe or God or whoever you call your God could be saying, OK, this is what you really want. Let me show me, prove it. A tower moment could be coming your way that could be very liberating for you, that could give you the freedom that you want. The tower moment, it doesn't have to be anything scary, dramatic, traumatic. It doesn't have to be anything like that. It could be just an unexpected change to help you see a situation for what it is, Aries. What's coming your way? There's too many cards, but the Three of Cups in reverse could talk about an overindulgence. It could also talk about a third party in the near future. We have the Judgment in reverse, Justice in reverse. These are two Libra cards. So there is. Um, you could have, and this is like going back to, you know, your love life, your situation. You could have like, like I said, you could have made a mistake, but you learned the lesson. So now with the justice here, you're being given justice. Some of you are being given a, a dose of karma. You know, you've been, you're being put in a situation where you can right or wrong or, you know, have a do over with something or someone. Some of you, I'm feeling like you want to be put in a situation where you can turn someone down, that you can reject someone. Some of you are also going to possibly meet someone who is more on your level, who is on the same page that you are as far as what you want in a mate what you want, you know, in a job even, you know, this person couldn't match you on a whole lot of levels. Will you give this person a chance though? There could be a lot of like gossip and talk around you um, right now or in the recent past. What's this judgment about? Some of you are just now getting over the fact that maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you had like a, you made poor judgment in a certain, when it came to a certain decision. Page of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody like pretty much played you. And Aries, you could be that type of Aries where you're like, can't nobody play me. You can't, the only thing that can play me is the radio. You can't play me and somebody, it looks like somebody got the best of you. And maybe this is someone who has done this repeatedly. This person could like have put you in a state of confusion as well. So this full moon, I feel, is really giving you a chance to like release some unwanted and emotions that are no longer needed. Maybe you need to really tell this person how you feel. Maybe there are some emotions that you've been bottling in and this is your chance to like really tell this person how you feel. And you could, I feel, reveal some things to this person that they think you don't know. 
maybe you're tired of this person and the way that they're handling you like i said before they could be taking advantage of you and you're tired of it best case scenario right now we got the two of swords in reverse three of pentacles in reverse and the strength so this is more leo energy here and even though you're clouded your judgment is clouded um a lot of you have a lot of anger and some of you are just really angry at yourselves for allowing this particular person or the situation to have such control over you and you're being given an opportunity to show people like who you really are and why they shouldn't mess with you i can't say what i want to say i really want to cuss but um i've been told that you know especially when you have a new youtube channel that if you cuss it could like mess up your algorithm so whatever but like you know what i'm saying like you can really show this person like how they got you messed up okay how they got you bumped with the colgate pump y'all remember that from back in the day maybe not if you're like under the age of like 30 or 25 or whatever but yeah somebody is like you're tired of someone feeling like they have control over you and you have the opportunity to show this person nah you can't control me Let's see what messages spirit has for you, Aries. Give me a thumbs up if this has um, resonated so far. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. So like a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you may have that in your chart ex or baby mama baby daddy causing problems like i said like some of you this there's a third party that has always been around they're always trying to cause issues or this person is like making you feel like subconsciously even that you have to compete with this person i miss you if you have not heard from this person that you are thinking about they will and this will be what they tell you like I said before, you are dealing with someone that knows what to say. They know exactly what to say and um, they know exactly what to do to get a response out of you. So what signs we have? We have Sagittarius, Leo, um, Scorpio, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be anybody really, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. This is your reading. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one.